Okay, this is Lee Odin from marketingblog.com. I'm at Online Marketing Summit 2012 in San Diego. With me, Charlotte Blank, Manager of Social Media at General Motors. Welcome. Hi, Lee. Thank you. So thanks for spending a couple of minutes with me to answer some key questions, I think, for digital marketers, big brands, small brands. Um, one of the first questions I had for you was, uh, in terms of your digital approach, how much of it is split towards customer acquisition versus customer engagement and in retention? Um, we definitely approach the consumer from a 360 angle and try to keep the consumer at the center at all times and thinking about their journey from when they're just kind of living their life 98% of the time to maybe thinking about making a car purchase a few months down the road to actually actively researching their car. And I think um, social media in particular plays a role in all of those kind of areas of the funnel. Um, our own channels, like our Facebook pages and Twitter handles, for example, we typically think of as an upper funnel play and are really an opportunity to engage our consumers with their lifestyle passions. Um, for example, music is a big pillar for Chevrolet and we offered early access to Spotify when that came out and that was a good integration with the millennials we were targeting for the Sonic launch that encouraged more engagement on our Facebook page. So that would be an example of kind of the lifestyle play that we tend to use our own social channels for. Um, I also see social media play playing a big role in the ownership and CRM space and that's where I think I'll be focusing a lot of my efforts this year um, I think there's a big opportunity in turning our owners into advocates and really giving them the tools to light up the, their social grabs and really share with their friends how much they love their um, their GM vehicles sure. so um, in that kind of middle area more in the conversion um, question we do have an entire group that's basically has all kinds of sophisticated ways of knowing when someone is in market because we really want to be cognizant that we're not um, flooding the market with our messages about buy now, buy now when really only 2% of people are in market at any given time. So we like to be very sophisticated in the way that we target those people with relevant messaging when they're ready for it. Um, but there are still great opportunities for social to play a role there, especially in the influencer space, the um, ratings and recommendations. We work a lot with third party sites like KBB and, and uh, Edmonds and such, and those are increasingly socializing. Right. Is there is there integration much with our, our from an editorial planning standpoint, I mean, you are you running social content calendars, for example, um, that that tie into buying cycle or customer segments or anything like that? We absolutely do use content calendars. Um, again, mostly from a more of a lifestyle engagement space, but we do constantly measure and optimize the way that we're sort of resonating with our consumers and we're starting to find some real nuances depending on the nameplate. So some of our more performance vehicles, Camaro fans, Corvette fans, Cadillac, they really like that awesome car content and you know we have great uh, performance engine type of you know content that they just can't get enough of whereas we'll use some of our you know bigger brands like Chevrolet overall to connect more with young consumers based on their lifestyle play or you know a mom blogger relationship or kind of ways to to be more a part of their everyday life okay super so you know in the social media world by the way I love that you use the word optimize um, I'm uh, optimizebook.com is where uh, uh, as a site where you'll see this video um, and information about a book called Optimize. But um, another question I had for you in terms of this fast changing world we're in and so many apps and channels for us to deal with, it's almost information overload, not only for consumers but for marketers deciding where is where it is that those consumers are spending their time. So question, how do you decide when it comes to new digital marketing technology to invest? Where do you experiment? That's a great question. I, that's kind of one of my the things I talk about most in my daily job and I think one of um, the most important things we can do is it's all about consumer insights and thinking, putting yourself in the shoes of the consumer you're trying to reach. So this varies by campaign, by nameplate, by the tone that we want to have with our consumers. We need to define up front what are we trying to achieve and who are we trying to connect with. Put ourselves in their shoes using thorough research and data and insights to understand what it is that these people like to do. Do they use the Pinterest of the world? Are they big tweeters? Do they even click on online advertising? It depends on who we're trying to reach. And if you constantly put yourself in the consumer's shoes, that can help avoid that chasing shiny object syndrome. Right. Some empathy towards what what's important, what they care about. Absolutely. Great. So I don't if uh, you'd like to share a Twitter handle, a blog, or any other social destination for folks to learn more about you and the work you're doing. Certainly. Um, uh, you can follow me at at Charlotte Blank, um, and please like all of our Facebook pages. We've got uh, eight Chevrolet pages and one each for Cadillac, Buick, and GMC. Great. Thanks a lot, Charlotte.